Asian option. I'm moving towards the next part, Asian option. Now over here, the same logic is being used, but instead of mix maximum and the minimum price, we are taking the average price. Okay, instead of man, maximum and the minimum. Okay, this is the entire summary. Okay, summarizing both the parts. Okay, but look at the Asian option now. It has two parts, average strike and average price. Okay, now you can remember from this word itself. The average price where and what is the average price? Average price of the asset. See the asset is moving up and down, up and down, right? You can take all the prices and calculate the average. So you can calculate the average price of the underlying asset, right? And that you can use instead of maximum and minimum, you can use it. Now over here, let us go to the first section. What is that average strike? Average strike call. Okay. See, please remember the word average strike means in the place of K, I will be using average price. Rest everything is simple. Right. Basic structure you have to remember ST minus K for call. So in place of K, I will be using average price because the name itself is average strike. Right. Similarly, over here, K in place of K, it's going to be average price. Do you agree? The next point, point. Okay. So the strike will become an average price because the name is average strike. If I take you towards the second example, which the name is average price. Now, basically that means the average price will not, will be at the ST position. This is very simple actually, you don't need to remember anything. By looking at the name itself, you can understand what should be the basic structure. What should be the structure of this option? To summary, if I summarize, summarization will look like this. I want everybody to read this entire part and give me a quick confirmation. PPTs are already there in the course, but obviously you cannot download it. It's already there. Okay. Is everybody able to go through the content? Right. But the point that the major discussion could be when we talk about Asian option, the averaging can be done in very different ways. It can be arithmetic average. It can be a geometric average to so different ways to calculate average, right? So if you read, I'm going to come back to this paragraph, but look at this, this section, what they're saying that most Asian options, they take average calculation, which is arithmetic average, the normal average. But in some cases it can be geometric average, geometric average is basically you take a square root. Suppose there are four numbers, one, two, and three, and four. So you'll take fourth root of it. It is basically uh, there in your book too, in some case, okay? This is based, when you say geometric, it basically means log normal distribution followed. In a very simple language, what they're trying to tell you is that the logic of calculating the average can be different. Right? Now, this is the main point. Look at this section. See, we are using an average price, right? Average price as a reference. Now, if I, if I go back to the example or if I go back to the PPT, now look at this basic structure, this one, average price, this one. Do you realize the ST is that nothing but the average price? So average price will move very slow, right? The average price is going to move very slow. So if you're, if you're owning this average price call and average price port, then the 
option has to be cheaper because you are going to make money very slowly is everybody able to understand this because it is not a normal stock price it is an average price and obviously average price will move change will change will happen very slowly right so the obviously the option price will be cheaper will be cheaper in that case as compared to the regular option so they have just given you an example with respect to that and it it can also be uh, with risk uh, they have give, the example that they have given you is when we talk about uh, asian option suppose if i am taking the asian option for entire one year okay they have they have taken an example of 26 weeks or basically 6 months so instead of and if somebody is looking out for weekly option buying weekly option for each week is going to be very costly as compared to that you can enter into an asian option which will take the average price of all the entire 6 months that has been highlighted so that is cheaper as compared to the other options we need them not clear why the payoff is going to be near to the strike price i'm not clear package the answer uh, whether it's this is a best for hedging or not is going to be very uh, dependent upon what is your original position na huh? see they have given you an example suppose in a original position you need to protect something on a weekly basis so instead of buying 26 individual weekly option it is much cheaper to buy a single asian option for 26 week and it is going to take the average price right 